Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Ring the bell. It's Friday. Retail sales today. UK GDP, I believe. Um, yeah. Trade balance. Industrial production. GDP. A whole raft of uh, UK numbers in 45 minutes. Sterling popped the cherry last night briefly below, I mean above um, 137. Traded quickly um, up to 11, but then um, sort of shit itself back down. Let's take a look at the hour, as you can kind of see it. Didn't really like it up there, I gotta say. Um, didn't really like it up there. We bought 95s and it was a scratch, um, but um, we'll have to see. It's an important point, I guess. 11 still, a lot of a lot of fresh air above, but we'll need some news, or we'll need we'll need like the whole complex of dollars to be getting sold and that doesn't look like it's going to happen today in fact looks like dollars going to get bought today the stimulus uh, bullshit is out no one has any idea what's going to pass just because biden wants it doesn't mean it's gonna gonna happen just because trump is gone you know these muppets aren't going to sit around singing kumbaya playing ring around the rosy and uh be all best friends. Um, you know, Congress is a clusterfuck. It's always been a, a clusterfuck. The House, I don't know, should be the House of Clusterfuckery. And the Senate should be like Machiavellian Muppet Show. Um, so, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to make of it. I like that he's trying something. Trying to head off, looks like what eventually is going to be some problems on the economy. Markets undecided right now. Although in general, the market looks like it doesn't like the idea. Uh, why do I say that? Stocks. I mean, no big deal. We're down 30 handles. No drama. We closed at 85. Now we're down at uh, 70 given right now. This is a little bit delayed, this price. Looks like short is the way, is the side today. Um, short stocks, perhaps if you'd like to express it with short oil. Oil looks a little bit stretched as well. Uh, we're short a little bit of oil. Um, Looks like we're going to have a risk-off day. How are retail sales going to be? Uh, I don't know. On the face of it, they should be terrible. Um, but perhaps uh, because of the Internet, it was great. Uh, we'll have to see. Retail sales could drive the bus. Strong retail sales in this trade is in play. This dollar Swiss, 89.20. Um, we're going to be ringing the bell up around there. Dollar Yen. It's been resisted, you could say. Come back down. This is just because of risk off. Cross yen is lower, marginally. Um, look at that chart. What is that? Euro yen, still middle of nowhere. It's not really cross yen time. Might be a day to buy dollars. Or I'd love for it to. Give me some at the figure. O2 oh, the low. Blow me. Uh, dollar max. Man, if that didn't say dollar max, that looks pretty offered. You would um, ride the white pony through 1960. But because it does say dollar max and it looks like we're heading into a risk off day, I'd be careful selling dollar max today don't really want to buy it. If I'm going to buy one of these sort of EM type deals, it's it's going to be dollars R. Aussie rocking and rolling at the top here. Shit is so big. It's just a 
outlandish. There's going to be a reckoning in Aussie. I guess you can wait for seven triple six. Seventy six, sixty six. Looks like a good sort of Lucifer type moment. The whole world is short, you're Aussie now. It was tricky here. We tried to get short up here at sixty one twenty eight. Everyone remembers. And you can see the market did get short, and then you had these two days, bang. 6260 bang 6230 so you had to wear 100-200 points on this not really our style when we're trading Euro Aussie but it's a trendy little beast um, but this has been a consensus trade uh, the last couple of days according to the banks I, I got some research from a colleague yesterday and he was uh, saying that everyone's selling Euro Aussie and Euro CAD. So people are short that. That could also turn. We're watching that. Euro Aussie. Why is this here? It's a good question. Makes no sense. Is there a double top up there? Maybe. I don't know. Through 80? Maybe. We got to. We get to see if equity downside gets ahead of steam. We want we don't want to get ahead of ourselves now. Um, can you believe this didn't go through 60 yesterday? 70 to low. Um, surely Euro Sterling wants to go lower. Stubborn little day yesterday. We got up to 17 fished down at 70 staring at the abyss here below 60 uh, I guess this is going to have to be driven by Euro this cable didn't really even like it up there but if I don't know maybe we get some strong numbers in the UK I don't know we haven't traded off of economic releases in a while but 38 minutes we got some UK shit coming down the pipe Kiwi Yen Again, this, I mean, we're hovering up here, kind of waiting for this to turn, 74.50. I don't know, raise your hand if you're going to sell Aussie Yen through 80 cents, which is still half percent away. Kiwi Yen through 74.50. Smoked the glass pipe in uh, ES, with a little left-hand side action, and be core short oil. Sounding pretty cavalier. It's never a good sign. Anyway, got to think about these things. Dollar CAD, triple bottom now, 126.27. This will look better on the hourlies. Not really triple bottom, more like double bottom. Hmm. Aussie CAD, they're all short. I don't mind buying dollar CAD today. The question is, is where do you get it? At what price? And where's your stop have to be? Your stop has to be below 126.20. I have to see. Gold also just waiting here, sideways, sideways, sideways. This could do. This could go either way. Back above 64. We're heading back north. We've had our chances now to go left. She wants to go left. But she isn't. I don't know. How do you persuade her to go left? A lot of indecision here. A lot of indecision. Well, we kind of know the parameters, right? 65 on the top side, 25 on the downside. Haven't been trading much gold recently. I'm trying to sell ZB 169.15 traded a little bit yesterday some marginal success um, short bonds looks the way no matter what happens in the world kinda have to be short bonds as far as as far as we're concerned it's good a Bitcoin 
40,174. This is cash Bitcoin. Um, this reminds me of gold now, except for gold on acid. So it's like a wild gold f between 40,000 and 30,000. We're going to do a lot of sideways work. And this will resolve itself. Like gold, I feel like she wants to go left. But also like gold, she doesn't really want to go left, right? She's 38 G's. Amazing. Anything else I need to look at? I don't think so. We got these UK numbers. We're obviously watching 88.60, 89.20 in dollar Swiss. I think we're going to fish for some cheap ones in dollar czar. We did not get given it the figure. Um, and we'll be watching dollar CAD. I wonder if dollar CAD right hand side is in play today. Anyway, thinking about a lot of different things on a risk off tone. See if we get any follow through. Good luck on this uh, Friday trading. Make some dough. Go ahead, guys. I dare you. Otherwise, have a good weekend. Talk to you on Monday. Ciao.